Hello, everyone. So here's a presentation for the task three of uh, Mika Hector. This title is Respect Prisoners of Public Cementation. Okay. So here we give an overview of, of public cementation. It is includes image that may contain polyp, and the output is a cementation map that extracts the polyp error from the background. Um, this is a step that aims for the early prevention of rectal cancer. For target model, we use polyp PVT. This algorithm ranks top two for CVC column DB benchmark. And this benchmark we take from the website paper with code. The source code, source code of the target model we get from their official GitHub. Um, here is our idea to um, use in our task. It's uh, applying some methods first respect to controlling some of the parameters and see whether the modules perform significantly for its art when we change the value of, the, of uh, these parameters. We use three methods here. Firstly, is adding some Gaussian noise and controlling the size of cone node. Secondly, is adding some sound and paper noise controlling the first folding. And finally, it, we use the first gradient method and controlling the stack size of each gradient based of it. Here is the performance of our original model. And this column DB dataset has uh, in total five sub datasets with their name is listed here. The original model's performance uh, take, uh, take um, okay, for the metric mean distance. It take um, the value rank from 0 0.76 to 0 0.91. This is the performance when we're using the Gaussian noise. Um, the first table is when using corner size over 3, corner size over 5, and corner size over 7. As you can see in this table, the performance is uh, the, the performance don't have a significant change. It nearly remains the same when we're using Gaussian noise. For the sound and paper noise, we used uh, in total four values for the threshold. Mm. And based on this result, we can say that the performance is rapidly um, decreased when we increase the values of the threshold. It falls off from, for example, from 0 0.6 here. 0 0.5, 0 0.52, 0 0.43. Yeah. Finally, is performance when we use the first gradient side method. Um, we can join in this method the, um, the step size of each gradient based update. We call it epsilon. And um, this first table is uh, when using epsilon zero. Um, here, 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 and here, we have in total uh, five values of uh, epsilon. And, and as we observed, the performance uh, has the most effective, effective when we're using the first time, for the first time we're using uh, this method, um, when we increase the values of epsilon, it nearly remains the same and don't have significantly changes. Okay, and finally, this is the um, example of um, our perturbation into the image. Here's the um, original image. 
is in an image when applying some roasting noise, when adding salt and pepper noise, and finally is when using fast grinding style method. Okay, and that's the end. That's all we would like to present. Thank you for your patience. Okay, these are contact information. If you have any further questions, thank you.